Hey developers, today we're going to talk about a fun topic. So have you guys ever wanted to go to a developer conference on your favorite programming language, your favorite framework, but you didn't have enough money to go? Well, you're in luck because there are a lot of resources out there for conference talks. Before we begin, let me thank our sponsor, webdoc.io. Webdoc.io is a VPS hosting solution that uses special Linux containers. Linux containers is a new way of running your virtual machines, and it's much faster than classical virtualization. So WebDoc is a new VPS hosting provider, and they use these Linux containers with fast SSD drives to make them much faster than most of their competitors out there. So with WebDoc, you can create your perfect virtualized servers. You can configure it however you want, and they actually give you a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate too. Another reason you should use WebDoc is that it gives you a lot of free backups that a lot of other providers don't. So please check out webdoc.io. And just for you guys who are watching this video, if you use the coupon code program with Eric, you'll get one free month. So click on that link below, sign up for it for your one free month. It's awesome and amazing. Check it out. Most conferences out there, especially the larger ones, record the videos for their conference. Some of them charge for those videos for you to watch them but a lot of them give them away for free. So I went ahead and got six resources here that you guys can use to get your favorite conference talks. And if you're just kind of bored, this might be a good idea just to watch one and try to get some idea of what topics people are talking about at conferences. Let me say one thing, this is definitely not a substitute for going for a conference. Maybe I'll make another video on that and why you should go to conferences why you as a developer it's a really great way of meeting new people learning new ideas learning cutting edge technologies and advice there's definitely a lot more benefits than just watching the presentations so i we're going to start here first uh, one thing that i'm really big on and by the way if you don't know my name's eric i'm a software developer i have over 10 years of software development experience and I'm the author of the Vue.js in action. And you can see all the links for everything I've done below and some of my favorite courses. Feel free to click on them. I get a few bucks if you buy some. And one thing that I missed this year is I couldn't make it to ViewConf US. And the great people at Vue Mastery, Greg and, and their crew was able to go and record the whole conference. So all the conference talks are on there. So, and I'll, by the way, I'll put all the links for all these different uh, videos youtube channels and, and websites in the description below so like for example this was a conference i really wanted to go to i couldn't make it but the information is free so and it's all listed on the youtube channel so i can watch the state of evan U, the state of view if i look at the channel view mastery also has a lot of great information just in general but if usually if you go to their playlists um, you can see the ViewConf USA playlist. There's 23 videos in total, so I can just jump in there. They also did the Open Source Summit in 2017. They have Open Source Craft videos, so highly recommend this if you're a Vue fan. Another great website that I enjoy is confreaks.tv. Now, their website isn't super updated, but they have, they've been doing a lot of different conferences. They just did Chain React 2018. They're a, they usually go to all the Ember comps. So if I click on one of these videos here, they actually have a YouTube channel too, where you can go to confreaks.tv. You see this was just published July 24th. Uh, yeah, some of their videos are on Infinite Red. They actually do have a confreaks.tv YouTube channel as well. But you can see they just have tons of information on on different conferences. So if I look at here in playlists, this has Chain React 2018, React Native EU, Chain React 2017, Ignite. So you can kind of soak up all these different conferences and learn all about them. Another great YouTube channel for conference talks is O'Reilly. O'Reilly's, uh, they're definitely putting out a lot of different conferences. So this these ones is from OSCON 2018 in Portland. You have all these speaker talks on here. They had O'Reilly Velocity Conference 2018. They're all there. Uh, O'Reilly Fluent Conference, all the talks are there. Artificial Intelligent Conference. So there's just tons and tons of videos from different conferences. And a lot of these conferences are like several thousand dollars, at least like 500 to $2,000 to go to. So being able to get the information without going to the conference is really valuable. 
Another website I really like or YouTube channel is this one. This one is the Google Developer one. They usually post, if I look at the playlist here, they usually, uh, a bunch of their different conferences they post videos on. Here's the Pair UX Symposium 2018. That's another thing. Once you find these YouTube channels, always go to their playlists. Most of them have playlists of the whole conference, which makes it awesome. Next 18 topic specific playlists, featured playlists. And then sometimes you can just kind of browse around. You can see here, here's the keynote from Building a Cloud for Everyone in their Cloud Next conference their keynote recap for Cloud Next 18, Google I.O., which was a huge deal. I'm Google, that's one of the biggest conferences Google puts on every year. And here are all the videos from all the speakers. Firebase, you know, I definitely want to see what, what the keynote was. I haven't seen it. Even something called Android Jetpack. I'm a big Firebase fan. Tons of Firebase videos on the Google Developers YouTube channel. Uh, another one, just like Google, Microsoft, and there's, there's also an Apple. YouTube channel that has tons of conference talks on there too, but I didn't include it in this list. If you go to their playlists, you can see here they have the full Microsoft build, all 17 videos from their conference earlier this year, HMI 2018, uh, even some Xbox stuff. So really tons of information. And I'm sure if I dug through here, I can find the conferences from 2017 too, if I looked close enough. And then one final resource that I really found useful is this website here and it's just basically called programming talks and uh, awesome and interesting talks concerning programming i think there's a there's quite a few github repositories like this this seems to be the most complete that i found if you guys find a, a better one you know please let me know put a link below in the description but this guy literally has hundreds of talks so every type of talk out there so you can look at C++ talks, Elixir, and he even gives you the years. So, you know, Dave Thomas would probably be a, a good one to listen to for Elixir or watch. Uh, Java and Android, JavaScript. You can see tons of ES6, ES7, Brandon, Brandon Ike. If you don't know who he is, you should Google him. He's pretty important to JavaScript. Uh, you can even see the dates. You can see some, it doesn't have tons of 2018. I don't know, let's take a look, 2018. Uh, some of some videos are in 2018, so it hasn't been updated for all the videos, but tons of resources here for different topics. And I looked at the commits and they are still getting commits all the time and they are merging them. So it definitely seems like it's a very active list of different conference talks, so I would, definitely highly look at this. I mean, let's take a look at one just for fun. Do they have any view ones? No view, but let's go to JavaScript. So Node.js is better. Ryan Dahl, if you don't know who he is, definitely Google that guy. He's pretty important to Node. Uh, yeah, so tons here. Let's take a look here. Some of these are conference talks. I Most of these are conference talks. So like Angular plus React, you can see here, this is from wrangle.io in 2015. One thing I would be careful of when you watch old conference talks is technology moves so fast. Some old conference talks aren't as valuable, but some technologies haven't changed that much. So you may, you can still watch probably this and get some nuggets of information out of this talk from Dave Smith in Angular and React in 2015. Things have changed. Uh, but yeah, I, I, kinda, I like this list, like Python, I think a lot of these are still accurate and still probably still worth watching some of them. You know, that's one thing I do sometimes during my breaks and lunches, I'll watch TED Talks too. I was going to include TED, but that's really more not specifically conference developer talks. Yeah, so that's just a few resources that I had in mind. I mean, let me know below what you guys think. Is there any developer talk conference websites, YouTube channels that you think are really awesome that you should share. Uh, if you guys like this type of content, please click that like button and click that subscribe button and then uh, hit thumbs up. Or if you don't like this video, hit thumbs down. Either way, I don't care. I, I just like to get your opinion. And then let me know in, in the comments below what you think. Now, if you stayed this long, I am gonna give you guys an opportunity to win something because I've been doing this for the last few videos. I have a new book. It's Vue.js in action. It's coming out. Uh, it's already in early access by Manning, but the hardcover 
hardback version of the book will be out in September. I'm really excited. So I'm going to give away a copy, an ebook version, not the hardback version, an ebook version of my new book, View JS in Action, to one super fan. And I, all you need to do is tell me one conference talk that you really liked and were interested in watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know which, why you liked it, and I will pick someone randomly to receive uh, the book. And also, if you could, this is the other thing about this, is if you read the book, that you have to go to my Amazon page and leave a, leave a review, good, bad, or negative, hopefully good. I really like to get some reviews on my Amazon page, so that will be part of the deal. I'll get you a free book. You have to leave a review. I'll pick maybe one or two random people in the next week or two here. Uh, and just leave a comment below what you think. Thanks.